What's going on guys? This is Jerry Neutron and today I wanted to show you a, a little something here. Steam in-home streaming has been released on all platforms. Uh, so you can stream from your Windows PC to uh, Linux, uh, OS X or other uh, Windows machines through your home network. Uh, and so I thought I'd just make a quick video to show you guys uh, kind of what it's like from a uh, real world perspective and uh, kind of some of the things that I ran into uh, when I was trying to stream uh, games from my other PCs. Uh, so right now I actually I'm on my uh, gaming PC right now and then I've got uh, my daily driver PC uh, in the same room. Uh, they're both connected together through a wired connection. Uh, it's actually an old AM2 build, and uh, so it can't really run any of the games that I have in my Steam library on its own. So I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, kind of try and see how it worked. But uh, yeah, I've got that set up to go, and what I'm going to do actually is uh, go ahead and play some uh, NBA 2K14 and actually uh, just show you guys what it's like uh, streaming to that other device, so stay tuned. All right, so now I'm on my other computer, so what I'm gonna do is uh, just launch some NBA 2K14. So uh, as you can see, when you're in your library, you just go to, uh, if you don't have the game installed locally on the drive, you'll get an option that just says stream. So you select that, and then uh, if you look over at the other PC, uh, it's basically going to start the game over there and uh, so it'll basically be mirroring everything that you see which is one of the kind of the things I don't like about the streaming thing uh, like it's cool but it also takes up one of your spots uh, on your actual PC so if maybe if you had someone that wanted to use that uh, and that's why you were wanting to stream to the device that would be um, cool if you could do it without you know it taking up that screen I haven't tried like minimizing it or anything like that and kind of seeing what happened but let's just jump into a game real quick and so like right now what I have is uh, I have it set to uh, for my client PC I have it set for uh, 1280 by 720 resolution uh, when I tried it on 1080p resolution it was super laggy uh, and it really wasn't playable at all. Also, what I've done is I have uh, changed the settings also for the uh, client to fast over beautiful or balanced as far as the settings go. So I want the fastest possible stream. I'm not really worried about looks. Uh, pretty much the reason I did that is just so that I could uh, get it playable on this PC. So right now you can see like it's it's uh, kind of playable. I mean it's not bad at all. If you really wanted to you could play through it like this but it's definitely not the same as uh, if you were playing it on your actual... Oh come on with that foul son. <laughs> it's not the same as if you were actually playing it on your host PC but it's not bad. Also my host PC is at 1080p so and you can kind of see it uh, does kind of uh, get a little pixelated at times. Kind of looks like, you know, when you're trying to find a stream of some sports game online and it just looks terrible for a couple seconds or whatever until your connection picks up. That's pretty much what it's like here. Oh, and that's kind of weird too. It's like a little delayed, so I find myself like holding on to the shot button for too long or whatever when I'm playing this game. Oh, get that rebound, baby. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's playable at this rate. I wish that it was a little bit better in terms of, uh, Thank you, I was about to say. I wish it was a little bit smoother, but I think what I'll probably need to do, or actually let me know what you guys think I should do to uh, kind of improve my uh, streaming 
quality. I'm thinking right now what I'm thinking is I probably need to uh, upgrade to a gigabit ethernet. Right now I've got a pretty old uh, Netgear router uh, and I'm definitely not getting Uh, I'm definitely not getting any uh, super fast speeds. My home network, my uh, speeds are about 90, uh, average about 90 megabits per second. So it's good enough for streaming like movies and things like that. But oh my goodness, there's no N1 right there. It's pretty good for streaming movies and uh, you know TV shows, things like that. I definitely don't recommend trying this on wireless at all. Uh, it's just not gonna work. Because like I said, my speeds are pretty good for everything else, but when you see here, it's kind of weak uh, in terms of streaming the game. But yeah, I haven't tried any other games and I haven't tried like, uh, I haven't tried, oh gosh, yeah. I haven't tried uh, streaming to a Linux machine or anything like that because I do have a Linux dual booting on this uh, PC that I'm playing the game at now. I haven't tried that yet to see maybe if there's any uh, performance gain. So I don't know if Linux is using less system resources so it would maybe run overall smoother. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking everything's pretty much network based rather than the actual hardware. Um, because right now, like I said, I'm on an old AM2 uh, build and it seems pretty fine from that perspective. I think it's all just all network based pretty much. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, let me know what, uh, if you guys have tried this out, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what your results were. And uh, also what you think I should do as far as uh, a router. Oh, also, just one thing I did want to mention. I did try this on my home theater PC, which is actually connected through a power line uh, Ethernet adapter, and uh, I got pretty terrible results with that. Uh, it's one of the old 200 megabit per second models, though, so I don't know if any of the newer ones are going to give you better results, but uh, it was definitely worse than what you're seeing here now. So uh, definitely you should avoid uh, wireless, and you should avoid uh, any old uh, power line adapters like that definitely uh, gigabit ethernet is is probably what you need to uh, run a successful stream especially especially at 1080p so but uh, yeah that's it anyway guys uh, don't forget to comment subscribe like the video all that jazz and uh, until next time see ya Sin.